I just keep thinking about, um, I don't even think I should say it, but these are very nice. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're at the Seafear booth, finally. You guys always see me wearing Seafear on the show, and I'm here at iCast with Joe and the whole Seafear crew. So let's, let's take a look at some of these shirts they got going on. There's some new designs. There are a lot of fishing designs, which I really like. My personal favorite, the swordfish design and the swordfish buff. So I'll probably be wearing this next time I catch one. We got a nice permit right here chasing the fly. And uh, you can get sea fear, I think, pretty much at any local shop. If they don't carry sea fear, make sure they do. Oh, the cobia. I caught a real big Kobe in Fort Pierce not too long ago, so this shirt's pretty cool. And the best part is, when you're catching a lot of fish, especially mahi, and they're bleeding all over you, it washes right out. And it's uh, UPF 50, so you're not gonna get sunburned. And if you're feeling very hot on the boat, the trick is, and Joe taught me this, you take your shirt and you put it in the water, and then you put it back on, and it's like air conditioning. It'll keep you nice and cool, so. Definitely check out the Sea Fear products. This one is super interesting, a flying fish. We always see these flying fish, so can actually have one on a shirt now. And the tarpon, for all you tarpon fishers. There's also bathing suits like this one, which I really like. I'm actually wearing this one. I think the mannequin looks better though, wearing it. We got the water camo, the hammerhead shark. There's a couple new designs coming out and then for ladies. My lady was wearing this one yesterday. <laughs> and boy, did she look good. <laughs> There's also the black one. Make you look real nice and sleek with a reef pattern on it. So you can wear these around the house, but you can also wear them if you're uh, snorkeling and diving. So if you're touching the reef, you're not getting all beat up or nothing stinging you. So that's really good for women to wear while in the water. And you gotta check out that sign. That would be a cool sign to have like in a like a, a man cave or something, or like in a garage next to your boat. I might steal that thing later, but I don't think Joe's gonna let me. <laughs> and the very last thing before we leave the Sea Fear booth, I wanted to mention, if you have a dive shop, a fishing shop, or if you're a charter captain and you wanna make some extra revenue, you can name drop. So we got the South Florida Fishing Channel here. You can put whatever name on here and then you can carry the Sea Fear line with your name on it. So that is an awesome way to uh, promote yourself and to have a shirt that not only looks cool, but is functional for the outdoor adventures. Let me see this blade. Check this out, man. You wanna get the job done? This is how you get it done. Dexter makes the blades. There we go. I've had people say, Here I can cut my finger off with this, and I tell them to keep it away from your penis. <laughs> <laughs> and they tell me they can live without a finger. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's awesome. Guys, we're here with the Go Fish Cam team. You guys always love it when I use the underwater footage, and this is where it happens, right here. Yeah, guys, here's the Go Fish Cam. I mean, I wish I could tell you more about it, but I feel like you've done a great job at showcasing exactly what it can do. We're super excited for uh, you to be back in Florida and yeah. getting yeah. some some more Barracuda and shark footage. It's gonna be awesome. Brandon just told me that somebody dropped it down sword fishing. How how deep did they drop? It? Uh, so, so John McDowell, who's uh, one of our uh, other other team members, he yeah. dropped it at 1,800 feet the other day. 1,800 feet. Yeah, so, so you got to go start testing the limits. I'm going to start <laughs> dropping these bad boys real deep now. Yeah. The, the quality is definitely there. We we like to test all of them to the 500 feet that we, we yeah. say it can go to. But how do you test them? Like in a pool or something? So at, at our at our uh, office in Austin, yeah. we do a bunch of quality control. So we have. Um, Tests where we'll drop it from 25 foot ceilings to pure concrete. That way we can make sure when you're doing heavy casts, like yeah. if you accidentally cast into a rock, it should still be fine and working. Yeah. Um, we also have a, a a big depth chamber that we created. Well, we created. David, who's on our team, created. Yeah. Uh, I definitely don't have the engineering skills to jerry rig something like that. Uh -huh. but, uh, so we'll we'll put all the units in there. We'll test it to 500 feet in water. Um, it pretty much just fills the tank with water and 
heavily pressurized it until yeah. it reaches that amount. Oh, nice. So now I, I feel a lot better because sometimes I'll drop it on my boat. And I'm like, oh no, but so yeah. I can throw it around, do whatever. Throw it around, do whatever. You know, uh, uh, we take care of all our customers. So if you ever have an issue, you give us a call. You yeah. Know? We're right here in, in the U.S. We're based in Texas, so uh, pretty easy to get a hold of. So Perfect. call us, yell at us, say hi, say what you like about it, but let us know. All right, <laughs> go fish cam. You'll be seeing more of that coming up on this channel. So I had coffee, a beer, and chicken waffles for breakfast, which probably wasn't a good idea because now I'm walking around ICAST looking for a bathroom. <laughs> about to eat a, an oyster. I haven't done this in a long time. I just, I don't chew it, right? I just swallow it whole? Yep, yeah, just swallow it's a shot. Chew if you want. No wrong answer. It kind of just tastes like cocktail sauce. <laughs> yep, and salt. That was a lot better than I was, I was just a little scared at first. I've had a, a bad oyster once, like two years ago, and that was the last time I had an oyster. Yeah. These are good. These are very good. These are very good. Woo! We were at Toadfish Outfitters, and you probably can recognize this rod because it's just about the rod I use in just about all my fishing videos. You guys have some new products too, right? Yes, definitely. Um, my name's, exciting one. Yeah, my name's Casey. I'm the founder of Toadfish, and uh, we're excited to show you guys uh, something that everyone has a problem with. Everyone has been on a boat and had their beer slide right off the center console. Disaster, um, and we think we solved that problem. So check this out. All my cup holders on my boat are broken, by the way, so I really like this. Yeah, so um, this is our suction cup koozie. Um, basically, it's a stainless steel koozie. The beer slides in, and it sticks down to any uh, smooth surface. So you can see that it's almost 45 degrees, and you pick up just that easy. Um, so any rocking boat, anything like that, it's not going to fall over. Um, yeah, we tested this. Heiko's had it out on the boat, running full blast, hit and chop. And uh, so this is our new suction cup koozie. Check it out. Oh yeah, koozie time. <laughs> and uh, also seafood time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come over here, check this out. So uh, we got Hunter back here. Um, Hunter's showing off our uh, shrimp peeler. So this is our Frogmore shrimp peeler. This peels, deveins, and butterfly shrimp at the same time. So you're gonna get in tight there. That fast, you have a peeled D-vein butterfly shrimp ready to go. Um, obviously, you guys know about the oyster knives. We're shucking oysters, and um, every product we sell, we're giving back 10% to restoring oyster beds, and that's what it's all about: clean water, um, having fun, and eating seafood. So we appreciate Heiko um, stopping by, and um, yeah, come on back over. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in scene. Yeah, what, what's the slogan, or like the, the rod that cleans? Yeah, the, uh, the only rod that cleans coastal waters, um, and our tagline is uh, put them back. So we put the oyster shells back, and obviously try to practice a little catch and release as well, and kind of spread the love, so. All right, it was good meeting you, yeah, yeah, and I like look that. forward to uh, catching a lot more fish on your rods. Awesome. All right, what are we gonna eat for lunch? Chinese? All right. This is our glove. Put it on your left. So fish monkey on his right hand, gorilla grip on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little vegetable oil on his palms. Okay, we're going to slick it up a little bit. And now with your right hand, which is the competitor, fish monkey, I want you to try to pick this up. No. No. Nice and greasy. On your now try ours. <laughs> Left hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So that's the polymer that I was telling you about. That's what makes it grip. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. That's a $6.99 retail glove. Okay? $6.99. The retail margin on that is 60%. We also have a cut resistant version. Okay? That's $9.99. A5 tested. And these are the same as Okay. Yeah, that's what they're really meant for. Filleting, any kind of thing. They're not puncture proof, um, but they are really, really good for filleting. Same exact technology too, the polymer's on there, so the grip is really, really good. Joe got a new smoker. <laughs> I'm all happy. Look at that baby. One, two, three, four, five, I can five, see six. myself. 
Six racks. Heiko, what's up, man? Uh, I'm Steve from Lee Fisher. This is our new O'Hero Hyper Series reel. Um, it's our newest reel on the market, and it's got a machine aluminum spool. Um, it comes in two, three, four, and five thousand sizes. Um, it's got a good drag system and closed drag, which is good for salt water, and it's, and it's a great all in all reel. Oh, yeah, it's light. So, where does someone go to get one of these. You can come by any Lee Fisher store. Lee Fisher manufactures the O'Hero brand and it can be found at Tampa Fishing Outfitters, Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, or St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. All right, so we have the Lee Fisher bucket. Uh, this is called our, our Handy Pal bucket. It comes with a nice braided rope, red, white, and blue, patriotic colors. It's got a double handle on each side. It can hold a lot of weight and it's easy to carry with a buddy if, we, if you had to have two yeah. people carrying it. Also has a lip here where you can easily dump stuff out and uh, it's a product by Lee Fisher. I love the ropes on the buckets, this is my favorite. So when you're offshore fishing, the biggest problem that I have, or well this is not the biggest problem, but when it does happen, rarely, it's terrible and that is dropping your GoPro off the boat or dropping expensive sunglasses off the boat. and. Looks like you got something perfect for that. Sure. Uh, this is our Stingray camera float. It's designed, you can see, to go around your wrist. Uh, it's got a strap here that's detachable that you attach to the GoPro camera. Uh, this is a D-ring that can clip to like a wetsuit or, or something, uh, a D-ring yeah. in your deal. But it's completely adjustable. You see on the back here, you just put it on your hand, attach it to your GoPro, that way you'd never you'd lose it or drop it. That'd be good for diving too. For sure. Yeah, because yeah. I know a lot of GoPros have the big orange thing that everyone's holding onto, but those are so bulky and then the camera always wants to just shoot up. Sure, and so, I mean, this kind of gives you the third hand as well. Yeah. If you need to let it yeah, go. Yeah, you can let it go and do yep. something else. Yep. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's a good seller. And then the sunglass portion, uh, this is definitely our number one selling sunglass floating retainer. Um, and what makes it so effective is first of all, you can put your sunglasses on the arm and then when you're doing something active, you can choke it down on your head. So your sunglasses never really leave your head. Yeah. Uh, and so if you're out taking off in the boat in the morning and the wind's up or, or you're on a jet ski or kiting or anything like that, it makes it super effective in that it keeps the sunglasses on your head. Um, this one retails for $9.99. Uh, this is $12.99. But the first phase of the project is done. Our next phase of the project is going to be another 2 million clams. How you doing? I'm Kyle Hagen here, Rodan Marine Systems, ICAST 2019. We've got new release, 96 inch shaft, GPS guided trolling motor. I hooked it up to the Simrad chart plotter. Anchor mode, route mode, select your waypoints. The motor will hold your boat within three feet of position where you want to be. You can go ahead, set up on the screen, select the spot you want to run to. Click anchor at the cursor and go ahead and set anchor. We've also got the motors hooked up with our skiffs. Go everything down to a 36 inch shaft and a 12 volt motor. We do 12 volt, 24 volt, and 36 volt systems. And again, all the way up to our 96 inch shaft. <laughs> all right. Joe, you're going to get one of these, right? <laughs> all right? I'm down for one of these, definitely. How many batteries do you need? To... Uh, you can do three group 31 lead acid or AGM batteries, or you can go to a single 36 volt lithium. It's the Savage Gear 10 inch swim bait right here. This is the pulse tail. That's in the light trout color. I'll show you. Want me to swim it by you? Yeah, let's see the sucker swim. Can you hit anyone in the face yet? I am back in Key Largo and I had a great weekend in Orlando with the Sea Fear crew. I met so many fans, it was actually kind of crazy. I met a whole bunch of new potential sponsorships. I met all of my sponsors there. They are all such awesome people and I am stoked to keep making more videos. And I know that I, I said that I'm, you were probably expecting a fishing video today because it's Tuesday. 
So what I'm gonna do is on Thursday, in two days, I'm gonna upload a fishing video. So don't be disappointed that this isn't a fishing video. I hope you enjoyed all the new products that we got to check out. And since all these other companies got to showcase their products, I kind of wanted to give myself a little bit of promo, promo, promotion. SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com is officially live and a shop now where you can buy my rigs and I'm going to be adding a ton of new rigs. Right now I only have eight, but I think probably by the end of this month or the end of next month, I should have 20 to 30 of the rigs on there that I use in all my videos. And all the rigs are going to have tutorial videos on how to use them, where to use them, and what bait to use with them and all that stuff. And also, it just keeps getting better, Seafear is doing a, a name drop with me to where you're gonna be able to buy some Seafear apparel through my shop with the South Florida Fishing Channel logo on it. And we're actually working on a custom design just for the South Florida Fishing Channel. And little spoiler alert, it says something like juicy. The blood washes out and even better, it even looks good to wear out on date night. Dang, Heiko, did you just say that? That's pretty freaking official. <laughs> Now, if that doesn't get you excited, well, then I don't know what to tell you. And ladies, I will have the Seafear leggings also available on the shop because those look so good. I mean, they're just... Makes you look like a long dirt road in the backcountry. So I want to say thank all of you guys for watching. I love all of you. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed to the South Florida Fishing Channel. I'm going to get back to my editing table, work on that fishing video so you guys got some entertainment coming your way. And before this video is over, I'll play a few scenes from iCast and play some music and blah blah blah. Enjoy it. But till then, cheers guys. Take this one, the Nick Stanzig one. <laughs>